Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, loves you guys. Thanks for coming on over today. I'm gonna work in my glue book and I thought I'd make some pockets um, and tags with the scraps I have um, still on hand because I am just really trying to use it up. <laughs> I've got a lot of little things that I can't quite let go of yet that I still wanna put into a book. Um, so gathered some supplies and I, you, I'm getting a little bored of my supplies. I don't know about you as a viewer, if you're getting bored of my supplies as well, because it seems like I'm going through the same things and it's like, why have I, not, I used this? Why is this still in my container of things? So I've got paper, papers in here painted and otherwise, uh, focal points. And um, it, along with my use it up, I've been taking my um, glue sticks that are nearly empty. See, there's just there's some there's still lots of glue left in that thing. Um, so this and a palette knife, spatula type thing, really does work to use up the small stuff. And I have to give myself, you know, some props. Uh, one of my containers I completely emptied, so I feel good about that. One of my little ones, if I can, this this container had had uh, lots of little bits and pieces, very small bits and pieces, and I used uh, all of them in a couple different journals, a couple different glue books. So I'm happy about that. Um, but today, today I wanted to, you know, let's mix it up a little bit. Just put some pockets in these things. So I haven't done done much of that in this. So I'm going to set, set that over there. Move the stamp. And uh, something that I did, I was cleaning up a little bit and I found some little scraps. And so I got some stamps out. Uh, no, I'm going the wrong way. There we go. And I just put some stamps on little pieces of paper. So, and I have a, a friend of mine gave me some new stamps. So this is one of those new stamps. So thanks, Gretchen. Those are cool. So I just took some, took these scraps and I just stamped on them. So we'll see if I can, you know, put those somewhere. And I don't know. So I think I'll put these in my uh, smaller, even this has gotten less put these in here because these are focal points of sorts. Um, okay, so there was this section I've already pulled out, picked up. Let's see, that's gonna be interesting um, to use. And they were basically just plain white pages. I had just white gesso, white painted on them and glued a few things onto them. And uh, I got another garden and gun magazine, you guys. And honestly, really high quality magazine, but the best of Sporting South, talking about brook trout streams. I love brook trout to eat, but um, there's some really pretty pictures in here. Like that is gorgeous and, uh, and some sayings and horse and stuff. So, but I'll, I pulled out a page of that just to uh, make a pocket out of. And then here's what I can glue. I can glue on, well, let me show you these doodads. I made these a long time ago as per somebody, I don't remember their video. Um, and I had a, have, had and have a bunch of brads still. So I can make um, fun little um glue things on here, on these, decorate these. I have the diamond shape, the rhombus shape, and then these ovals. These are the two that I like the best. I, I made hearts, but that didn't quite turn out because I couldn't, meh, that, mm, something's not right there. This one actually turned out cool too, the one hexagons, that one's fine. So I could use these in other things. I could, I could. The triangle can be like that. That one's kind of fun. That would make a pocket in itself. Make a little pocket if I wanted to. And then the stars didn't quite work either. I guess it's okay if you want to do something like that. A crown. So, you know, I, I've had them, haven't used them. Why not put them in here? You know, I'll decorate them all up with, with bits and pieces and a focal point and maybe some distress ink or something. But they're on the they're on the docket for for that. 
Um, I can glue pictures onto this because I really don't care about a glass of whiskey and a bar, you know. Garden and Gun Club, I just might leave that just because it's it's a funny memory for me having this magazine that I didn't order, didn't really pay for it. I paid for something else entirely and they screwed it up. So anyway, and I started it all, I already started gluing on the background of this a little bit. So for these are painted papers that I have uh, thought, well, my, my goodness, they're really cool. They're nice and sturdy. And this one will fit in this pocket. This can fit in this pocket. And these are painted papers. And I wanted to use my LaCroix. So I can glue stuff on this and there. And there's something that keeps grabbing on this but I don't know what it is so it goes in eventually and that this is from that pocket and uh, here's another piece of painted paper that I can glue on and it'll be cool these these two pages I think it'll be fun if I just glue stuff on there and also I can add these in here um, I might have to put something right here though because I just noticed when I was opening it it makes it a little floppy or I could just add maybe some washi tape right here. So this book is is a little bit of art and a little bit of glue. Mostly glue though. It is mostly glue. But we can call these pieces, these are, you know, painted papers. These are alcohol inks. So it could do so many things. And it's going to make these two pages heavy. Earlier today, I was messing around with it and this whole section came out. So I got out um, some mass, some duct tape actually. This is, you know, the kind of duct tape. And I found a couple decorative rolls. I got this roll and this roll, which I love. I, th I just think this is the coolest black and white duct tape. So I found a couple of spots where this book is falling apart still, even though I have reinforced some other pages. I think though when I tore, I tore out a few pages, like I t said last video or a couple videos ago, I don't remember. But when I did that, it, it uh, messed with the integrity of the spine. And these are two of these, these catalogs put together. So I had to reinforce with, that's masking tape or painter's tape. As you can see right here, this is probably gonna go anytime soon. I mean, it's, I think I just heard it crack and there it's gonna go. So I'll have to do something there. Ah, yeah, back my page. So anyway, I'm trying to figure this thing out. Oh, where, yeah, I had to tape that. And I think on the other side of this, here's the black and white. Anyway, that's, we live and learn, right? We find these things that we have to address as we, create but this book is so fun I love all the all the different elements I have in here so fun okay so I found this little cartoon it's only part of it but I love what it says everything in moderation especially especially moderation so <laughs> it's just like um I love it so I need to put that somewhere. And I guess I could put that right there. <laughs> Excuse me, I didn't say that. I don't, you know, I'm just going to leave it as is. It's just a funny little cartoon. And I'm going to put it in. I'm going to use this up here. Let me get my phone book out. And I, I also, I also sewed this just to see. Oh my, covering things up I'm gonna need to find later. There we go. Um, yeah, I just took this, took a straight stitch to this. to keep that didn't I oh well oh, I could have left it up higher what if it's too late let's let's experiment here and find out might not be too late gentle gentle and we are in business 
There we go. No worries. There we go. Everything in moderation, especially moderation. Yeah, I can wipe that off of there. Uh, that's okay. It's a glue book. If I get glue over shoot, then that's fine. In my camera, this looks really busy. So I don't know if it if it's too much for your eyes to comprehend or not. Um, but anyway, let's see. Um, yeah, alcohol inks here on orange paper because I didn't know what else to do with this orange paper. And it could, it could make some fun fall cards if I wanted it to, I guess. No, let's go over here first. Um, that's kind of fun. It's a sticker that says hi. What else? I'm gonna get a pocket out of this too. Ooh. Not on that color. And a little bit there. What's this? No. That's kind of interesting, just because it's so different from this right here. Okay, let's do it. Um, let's use my bigger one because of the size. So yeah, a friend of mine, she was getting rid of some things and she, um, she was doing a little bit of purging and in her craft room and uh, she decided that she would share some of her excess with her friends and I happen to be one of her crafting friends so I was able to get a few things from her and then um, and what I don't use or what the other gals don't grab, because um, there's like three of us, four of us, kind of all together, um, we'll just send down to Goodwill because some of it is still usable. It's just like I don't need I don't need a thousand envelopes. I don't think any of us need a thousand envelopes. She she somehow had a box of them and they're nice envelopes, but I took about 30 and even then that's excessive for me. And wasn't there, oh, the word hi. This was actually from her a long time ago. Let's put it up here so I might be able to see it through the pocket window. Good, and then I can put a word there, another word. Maybe hello, hello, hi, I mean, that's fun. And uh, I could do more on the back if I was so inclined. This sticker kind of stick. Let's give that some extra reinforcement there. A little more to work with. That's fun. And then I might have a piece of this too from her so wouldn't that be fun since I've had this from her this from her I'll add up add this to it as well right there just a little bit of that and I'm just gonna do a line right up here instead of trying to get it onto the brick rack itself Yeah. Stay, but not on my fingers. Oh, 
Oh, I have some. Nope. A happy hello. This is from her. Also one of her stamps that she got rid of. You can put a happy hello. Hi. It's just a little tiny. Little tiny. Yeah, I'm sorry. There we go. <laughs> happy hello. Put it off to the side. Yeah, she had uh, she had another one that said hugs and kisses, and for you. So they're really tiny, very cute. And I've got pictures of these. This is from her. <laughs> I think I wait. Wait on that. So that's kind of fun. And then this painted paper uh, jelly print session and then the stamp that I made, I was using it, using the back of this just to see how it would work and it looks nice, it's fun and all that. Um, let's see, what can I add to this that would give it, I like the red on the top because it goes with this. Yes, I still, I, I still say the red on the top. And then let's see, what about these hearts? Will that show up? I think that's going to disappear on the darkness of this, so I won't do that. There's this. It's kind of fun. Since I have, well, you can't even see it, but I could do this, similar. This was a printable that I made, which turned out okay, I don't know. That's from the same printable. Painted paper, stamps, print, paint. That's a lot going on, isn't it? Hmm. It's okay. It's okay. I can do it. And uh, I can also come back afterwards after I get my glue things on there. And uh, I've got Posca pens that are fun to um, make accent or marks with on these. Or just come back with just paint if I want. This little piece right here that I'm gluing has some washi tape on it from a few other sessions, little pieces. That's kind of fun to have too, is just have an index card or some piece of scrap just kind of hanging around so that, or off to the side, if you're using washi tapes, you can just add your little snips from the edges or whatever your ends of your washi tapes look like once you get done use, you know, putting them on your paper. Inevitably, you're going to have some little snip off of it. That needs a home. So I'm kind of mixing my metaphors here with, uh, this is a little bit of vintage looking kind of kind of thing here. And, and I don't mind covering up this, this piece of uh, jelly print session. It was all about experimenting and 
such anyway, and I'm not using it for anything else, and it's really thick uh, paper. So it's heavy cardstock to begin with, and this is a bright yellow, one of my brights from a while ago. So it made a pretty decent jelly print, so that, that's cool. Anyway, who am I looking with getting it in here? Looks good. I think I will sew something on the top of that. Grab a piece of fabric of some sort. There's my fabric bin, my scraps bin. Uh, oh, what about just something like that? Because that's painted as well. So I could. Let me. Um, Got pinking shears. Should we try that? Let's have let's have some fun with pinking shears. Just enough, just to give it a tip top, tip top shape. It's a little bit of fun. And I'm gonna slip on over to my sewing machine here. Okay. Totally crooked dude, but awesome. We're fine. Move. There, just a little sticky outy things. A few sticky outies. So I got a little bit of fabric on both of those. Um, what else could I put on here? Um, What we love. Oh. <laughs> Boy, these are heavy. I got these at a um, an estate sale, and they are super heavy. But you know they will last forever and a day. What does it look like? What? <laughs> what? Let's take apart the words. Maybe I can do what we love if I can make it fit. We'll see. We will see. We will see. We use a short word. Okay. Is this going to fit? Is it going to fit? Is it going to fit? And the test. Sideways? Who says the words have to be straight up and down? Is there somebody who said that? And you know there's words, but you can't read them. So let's keep them that way. Trick the eye, trick the eye a little. I'm gonna get this a little thinner. And looks good there. Okay. Oh boy, I tell you, I am having so much fun in this book. And there was a time not too, in the very recent past where I was just not able to enjoy my gluing and I, it was sad. I had no inspiration. I didn't really know what to do and uh, and I know you ha you guys get you've gone through that too. so I know you can you can um, empathize with me there. Every now and then, the creativity just kind of kind of just... Uh, no, it's hiding and there's no that nothing that really you know it's like I want to get I need to get my craft room I got to do this or I, I feel like there should be something I, I could be doing at this time craft wise I feel like I want to craft I want to draw or I want this or I want that and you get in there and there's nothing 
just the inspiration is gone or there's or you're tired and you you can't think straight or whatever it is but for me and I have to come back to don't get too discouraged it will return and it always does the creativity bug and then if you for me too, also, if I am in a funk creatively, just do something. Make some lines, pick up a black pen or whatever, and some get one of my sketchbooks out that I don't like or I don't care about. But, you know, I care about everything. There's there's part of that in everything that I do. I want it to turn out looking nice because I'm I don't call myself an artist, but there's a lot of things I do that could be considered art so you know as, as I'm working in these books and they're not even oh well so I'm working in these books you know I have to be a little gracious with myself not just in these books when I'm working in my craft room I have to be a little gracious with myself and not too hard on myself when I have a very little inspiration And sometimes looking through my old books, and I think that's something that other people like to do as well. What if I put a little taggy doodad on here? Because that's cool. Follow your fashion time. Um, what was I saying? Oh, get out your old books. Yeah, somebody reminded, asked me if, if I did that, if that was something that I like to do. And it's like, yes, especially when I'm, when I'm stuck. Where's my hole punch? Creatively. And you, it's, it's kind of amazing how we do get, I mean, we're doing something all the time, but then there's times when we just totally get stuck. Our brains don't work. We can't find a, find an outlet to be creative yet we have this hard this very very intense need to be creative but we don't know in what way so get out the old old glue books or old you know journals that you've written in or well that's just fun just a lot of little things a lot of little things on these pages that's that's that, that I like What's this? Um, anyway, I feel like I'm rambling. I want to put that down. I like that, but it's thick, so I'm going to use this. This is not actually be a cute little pocket. Maybe I can make another little pocket out of this. Just do the whole U glue. Just to get down a little further. Yeah, these two pages are going to be kind of heavy duty, aren't they? It's kind of tall and not real strong. Oh, I've got birdies. I can stick a birdie in there. No, not deep enough. Maybe, ooh, maybe birds on these things. Uh, I don't know. Let's see, so some fabric. What can I do with a little pocket there? What's this? Nope. Hold on. That fits just about perfect. There's gonna be a lot of layers to these two pages. Now I can put a bird on there. Put a bird on there with one of my flower stampy things. Why not? Kind of, kind of hides my high though. <laughs> hides my high.
Anyway. about one of these what's those little words again where'd those little words go did i put them in here how about if i use hugs and kisses on this one how about that doesn't really go, but in this method, doesn't anything go? There we go. I like that right there. Although, have you ever tried to hug and kiss a bird? <laughs> Pam at the Paper Outpost. I wonder if she's ever done that with her bird, Holly. Can you really hug and kiss a bird? They're not really cuddly animals, you know? I know chickens can be cuddly. I've heard that. All right, you guys, I think I'm going to leave this for another day, um, but I've had fun doing this. And I'll probably work more on it as the as the mood hits or whatever. But this is fun. Just a little thing on there. And yeah, and there's more I can glue on the back of this. Right? Whoops. Yeah, so just adding a pocket with a page of a magazine and some old painted papers and sparkling water can thing. So lots, lots more I could do in this. And I'm sure you're thinking, looking at my stuff going, oh my gosh, you could do something there, there, that, with that, and all this stuff. So anyway, you guys, I hope you're all getting a chance to be creative. Love you guys. Thanks for being, um, being so wonderful. And uh, watching me as I use up my scraps and my my magazine stuffs. And uh, yeah, we're watching me with whatever possibilities on any given create session I can have. So thanks again for coming on over. Take care. And as always, God bless. Bye-bye.